Hi, it's Stephen here at Class Act, and in this video I want to do a bit of a product review and uh, show you what I've done with this product. Many of you are familiar with the Heartfelt Creations 3D Flip Fold album. Karen Gerber did a class in December uh, with this, and her uh, example is at the store on display. Um, but I also took it upon myself to check this product out because I was unable to take uh, Karen's class. And uh, I'm really pleased with this product and I want to tell you some things about it. First of all, you may or may not know that the album itself is blank and it comes with uh, five pages inside that are also blank. You can see them down in here. Um, they come in three colors, white, black and craft. This is the white set and it's very reasonably priced at $21. Along with that, you're going to need the inserts. And there are four styles of inserts, and they're marked as A, B, C, and D. And again, they come in white, black, and craft. On the back of each package, there's a diagram showing you exactly what these inserts look like. Now, here's where I had my first little minor problem with this. There aren't any instructions on how to fold these. They're already pre-scored. And I went to Heartfelt uh, Creation site and to their channel on YouTube to find out how they are used. And unfortunately, Emma Liu, their creative director, only shows a couple of the inserts. So you're kind of on your own to figure this out. But actually, once you get over uh, the first couple, the others are very easy. My problem was I thought there was a right way to fold these. There isn't really a right or a wrong way. It's up to you how you want to use them. So for example, you see this set. This is set D. It looks very, very complicated. It's not really. You have to play around with it a little bit. Fold it this way, fold it that way until you get exactly the configuration that you want. So in that sense, it gives them a lot of versatility. Um, once I got over that hump, uh, I was fine. So these are also very reasonably priced um, from $6.69 to $7.99. And as I said before, they come in white, black, or craft to match your album. Um, the whole system has been designed for you to make your own album, to customize it, but not to go through the hassle of trying to make an album right completely from scratch. And what I mean by that, making the foundation part. Some people like to do that. Other people would rather spend their time uh, getting their pages decorated. So I'm going to show you what I did with this uh, album. And here is mine. I chose black uh, for this and uh, I pretty much tried to use almost every insert. I was not successful in using every insert. I have one on every page, but I used pretty much uh, most of them. Um, so you see on the outside cover, this paper that I used is not heartfelt paper. I used uh, some from my stash. I wanted a vintage look. I did use, however, uh, the dies that they recommend. Uh, Regal border, borders, uh, ornate pockets, I believe, in ornate bo borders. Um, these are, uh, there's about a set of three, I think, actually, that you can get. Um, and they're very, very nice dies. But, so I use them, and you'll see them throughout this uh, book, to cut out uh, little border treatments as I have here. I also use the, the sunflower die um, and the open leaf set to create my uh, floral embellishments on the cover. On the back, on the spine, I used, again, the sunflower uh, die and rubber stamp set. And this is an embellishment from uh, Tim Holtz collection, actually, that I uh, glued on here. And this is the very back of the album as well. The ribbon I used, I picked up somewhere, I'm not sure where it is, um, and I created it uh, so that it would um, be very secure on the book. I put it underneath the papers, and it's kind of a nice ribbon because it doesn't fray. So let's open it up. Now I haven't put any pictures in mine yet, and I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to put in it. But I'm going to show you what the inserts look like and what I did with them. So, if you take a look at these first two pages, I used, I cut out background paper, I distressed the edges with uh, Tim Holtz Gathered Twigs Distress Ink, and that's what I used throughout the whole book. Um, I used one of the pocket uh, inserts here, and this is another one of the dies that are recommended for this set. It's a beautiful die. 
One thing I found with the dies, they definitely have to be shimmed. I'm using a Vagabond, but uh, I also know they need to be shimmed in a Big Shot as well uh, to get a nice clean cut. At first, I found this a little frustrating, uh, but once I got the shim in there the proper way, it was a piece of cake to cut all of these pieces. Um, and then I made my inserts. In this case, I just made a simple card for pictures or journaling. And again, here you can see on the top, I used one of the ornate dies. And this one I created a belly band, and I used uh, another one of the border dies from Heartfelt, and I created this insert, again, for pictures, journaling, whatever. Moving on to this page, and I'll see a little bit more elaborate uh, insert. I made this tag. Actually, I didn't make this tag specifically for this album. I was playing around with some other products, but I really liked the way it turned out, and I thought, hey, it would make a nice addition to this album. So I did that. And this is a, one of the inserts, and it just flips out just like that. Let me see if you can get the whole thing in here in the picture. So lots of room for pictures here, and, fold, and it folds up. And I have it. Let's get that back. And I'm sorry, I'm going off the screen. And there's a magnet. And there's quite a few magnets in this album. They're buried under the paper, and that just keeps the closures uh, closed up. You could use ribbons or whatever uh, you like as well with this. Um, so, this one. This particular page, again, you can see I used the dies for the corner pieces, and I made this little pocket. I used the dies. Now, this one, you can see my magnet, but the other one's hidden in here. And this is just a little pocket. It's another one of the inserts, and I've created a card, if I can get it out. Oops. Oh, that was not good. Okay, I just made my card a little vintage. Okay, I'll leave that for a moment. Um, and it just snaps shut. I add these two little squares here, and I raise them up with pop dots. Again, uh, these are spots for embellishments or for pictures. On this page, instead of using magnets to close this particular insert, I used a ribbon. And this particular insert opens out in threes. And you can see again, here's another one of the dies. So you don't have to use magnets. Uh, question is what kind of magnets to use. Well, you want fairly strong ones and fairly flat ones. And we sell those, uh, the basic gray um, magnets at the store, which work very well. Uh, I don't suggest you buy your magnets at the dollar store. I tried that, and they did not work at all. They're not strong enough. On this page, another one of my tags. Again, this was something I was experimenting with, and I liked it. I thought I'd throw it in the album. doesn't quite go with the color scheme, but then again, I thought something a little bright and blue and brown do go together. So I thought that might be a nice element. Uh, on this particular page, little pocket here, insert. And uh, I left the back, black, uh, back of many of these blank so that you could use this for journaling. You could add a card to that. But this opens up as well. Again, there's a magnet holding it. And it opens up into this pocket. A little tag inside there. And there's a pocket here as well. And so this, the idea of these pockets are you could just uh, drop inside a, a picture or whatever. On this particular page, I have another one that drops down. Now, this one's kind of interesting. This one took me a while to figure out to get it this way, and this is what I mean about having to experiment with some of the inserts. Uh, make them do what you want them to do. And so this one folds down like this. Let me see it. I'll push that up. Can't get it on the shot. It's got a little pocket right here for an insert, but it also flips over to this side, and you could add something here as well and here. And again, there's a magnet holding that in. Of course, this is an insert, and it fits right in behind. This side, another one of the pockets, the inserts again, and another little card for the inside of that. This one's kind of neat, this little insert. Again, this took me a little while to figure out, but once I did, um, I used some cut cut apart from a, another set of paper to add this little index card to this pocket, but this one I really like because it opens up just like this. And you see, again, hard to get into the shot because it's so long, but there you go, and you've got many sides here. You've got another little pocket over here, 
as well. And there's a little pocket under here, which I didn't put anything in, but it could have a, a tag or something in that. And down here below, another pocket with a little cut apart thrown into it too. So that was kind of fun to create. And it, it gives a lot of uh, real estate for lots of photos. So you can see in this album with all these inserts in it, you have a lot of space for journaling and for additional pictures. This particular pocket set, I made this little card right here. It just fits in the pocket here and another little pocket right there. You'll notice there's some shimmer on many of my pages. I use my Wink Estella over top of some of these uh, embellishments on the top and down here. And I think these are my favorite pages, the last two. As you go through this, I, I mean, I think you meet, meet, really need to make two of these albums. The first one's sort of your prototype, get your feet wet, and the second one you can make really fantastic. Because by the time I got to these last pages, I really knew what I was doing with the inserts, and I really got creative. So in this one's case, you can see it's a little pocket that drops down. And there's a magnet right under here, under these border pieces. So you can put a picture in there. And this tag I made, it's kind of neat. I'll give you a close-up of this. This is a technique that I saw on Jennifer McGuire's uh, website using embossing powder and distress ink and water to create the variegated effect. And, of course, this is the sunflower uh, dye and stamp from Heartfelt. And it just fits right in that pocket there. Now, these two, notice they're just not moving. Well, that's because there's a magnet on them, on the back. And in order for, I, I th thought of this after the fact, after I got this glued down, and this is something you might want to consider. Really plan where your magnets are going to go. I thought, my original thought was these two tags would just sit right in here. But then I realized when I close the album, the tags are going to slide over this way. So I put a magnet in both of these spots, one on the back. I covered them up with, uh, with some matching paper sort of a thing, almost to make it look like an embellishment. And now these two sit right in there and they don't slip out. But as I said, you might want to plan where your magnets go. This particular page, again, another insert, little card here, and that's one of the borders, and I used a piece of washi tape to make it ma match it up. And this one folds out this way. So you've got these two areas, and then you flip it over. You have this area and another pocket Another tag in here to add more real estate. This one I didn't really I did use a magnet. I used the magnets over here. They're hidden behind the paper and it keeps it, you can hear it, keeps it right in place. So that's my Heartfelt Creations 3D flip fold album. Um, I may put this on display at the store. Uh, I have noticed that Karen's is getting very well worn because of people looking at it, and I've noticed that the papers are coming off on the edges on hers. All these pages that I put in, just as an uh, side here, are all glued, wet glue. And I used this particular glue, the Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Glue, which right now we don't have in the store because they won't ship it in the wintertime because if it freezes, it changes its properties, it wrecks it. But we will be getting a lot more of this in come the warmer weather. Best white glue I've ever used. I really recommend it. And you can get, mine's a little gummed up, but you can get these metal tops for it too that allow you to really have precision control over the flow of the glue. This is what I used for all the elements in this book, and it holds very well, it dries fairly quickly, and it's great. But I am going to do one more thing to this album uh, before I put it out on display. Right along the seams of where all these large pieces of paper are adhered, I'm going to take some uh, gel matte medium and with a fine brush, I'm just going to go over the seams of all of these because it dries clear and it will seal these. And my thoughts are, with those sealed, they're not going to be get uh, peel up as people look through the album. So, this is a great product. We've been selling, selling them like crazy. Come on into the store, see the samples, talk to us about them. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. It took a while to make, but you know, anything worth doing does take a while. And I think you're really going to enjoy this, and the price is very, very reasonable. So, have a good day. I'll talk to you later.